Okay, so I don't know where I left off on this. Last problem I ran into was the inverter, the cheap little car inverter that I planned on using. It's a little 400 watt inverter. It would trip as soon as the pump would kick on, so it was obviously not powerful enough. So I had to upgrade to a little bit bigger inverter, uh, a 700 watt inverter, but it can surge up to 1400 watts. So where the other one doesn't even say a surge rating or anything like that. I'm sure the 400 watts is probably the surge. Right. This should solve all my problems and hopefully I can have this aerator up and running in the next 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yeah. That's I mean, exciting. the hardest thing would be just putting it out in the water. You're gonna go for a swim? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, moment of truth to see if this thing works. I got it all kind of rigged up. Wish me luck. I spend way too much time in the sun for uh, this not to work. Oh, good. It works! That was scary at first. <laughs> I just, I can't even imagine how different this place is gonna look. Hopefully it looks swimmable. A little bit more inviting, not so much like a swamp. <laughs> Is it on? Why isn't it going? I was about to say. I was expecting a sound. <laughs> oh, I know what I did. I probably didn't turn the remote switch back on. <laughs> oh my god, I'm like, <gasps> you told me it should be good. <laughs> it's already broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> Alright, take two. All that for this little puff of air. Right there? Oh wow. <laughs> That is going to transform the pond. Are you going in with him, buddy? <laughs> Say bye bye, Dad. Dad. You touch something? Yeah. It felt like a branch or a piece of the dock. Or a snake head. <laughs> Can you straighten that hose out and push it off to the side? There you go. That's good. Oh. Pull myself back. You think you're caught on something? that or I'm just dragging all the excess. I want to just keep all the excess on the float. So this is the before, very green, greener than our grass, <laughs> but we'll check in probably in about a week. I'm very curious to see how this is going to look. It's so crazy, because you just mowed and I, I can't even see it. Well, I mean, it's 
was weed whacking around the tree. That's when I saw it. I'm glad you decided to mow tonight. <laughs> It's crazy how much it blends in with the tree. It flies pretty well. Yeah, it's just a little guy. All right, now that this project is pretty much complete, I uh, think this is the best time probably to go through and show you how I did everything. Because to be honest, I was kind of just figuring out as I went along and I had an idea of how to do it, but you don't really know until you, you actually do it. So as far as uh, the initial power source, I just used two solar panels that we had from our original uh, solar array and they're just cheap hundred dollar solar panels each one is 235 watts so we have 470 watts feeding this battery that's in this battery box they come together and run in parallel yeah treasure baby they come together run in parallel into this battery box let me kind of take this apart and show you so in here is nothing too special. It's just the uh, aerator. And then also I have a switch for the inverter. Just in case the inverter trips for whatever reason, I can come out here and without having to remove the aerator and dig into the battery box and reset everything. Uh, I can just control it just by removing that lid real quick on and off. So yeah, let me just turn this off just to show you and so you can probably hear me better. <laughs> All right, so what I did, constructed here is just pretty much set my aerator on top of this uh, tote and I created a little drainage hose that goes through the tote. So any water that happens to rain, uh, accumulate on this lid can drain through here. And this is, these holes are high enough above this, this drainage hole that no water does get in then. So inside the battery box, this is the only thing that kind of sucks. I gotta force this drainage hose up because oh, it's really snug. I wanted to keep the tube as tight as possible to keep any bugs out of here. That's why it's so snug. So this is the heart of the operation. So the solar panels come into this charge controller. From the charge controller, it charges this uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. Then from the battery going to my load, I have this low voltage disconnect. With this low voltage disconnect, I can prevent the voltage dropping so low it causes my inverter to trigger and set an alarm. I would have to manually come out here if my uh, and reset the inverter if the voltage ever dropped low. So my way of mitigating that is by this low voltage disconnect. And also I have a timer, so it runs roughly 10 hours a day during the peak of the day. So uh, I think I have it set from nine or 10 till eight, roughly somewhere in there. So from this low voltage disconnect then runs to my load, which is my inverter. And then my inverter, the only thing plugged into it is this uh, digital timer and then plugged into that digital timer is the aerator itself. Overall, pretty simple. It's just kind of figuring out how to put it all together and making it work without, you know, uh, 
making things pissed off because the original inverter that I was using was a cheap little car inverter. It first of all it didn't have enough power. It's only 400 watts, which technically should have ran this, but for whatever reason it didn't. So I had to upgrade to a little bit larger inverter. And then my other issue that I my I had was draining the battery down and then triggering the inverter. So then I had to add in the low voltage disconnect. <laughs> Kept running into problems. Yeah. So with all that said, I, it should work pretty flawlessly with uh, very little. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have to do anything. Granted, only time will tell. I mean, it's only been up for a few days, but. Yeah, and look how different the pond already looks. Oh, so different. It went from green to like muck brown mm -hmm. to like it's starting to even clear it from this or clear it from that muck brown. But yeah, there's just so much sediment in the bottom of the pond. So it's going to take still a few days before this actually starts to clear up and look inviting again. Right. It's only been a week, but you can definitely see a difference in the color of the pond. We've also noticed an increase in visibility along the bank and a huge change in the smell of the pond. Before, it kind of smelled like a mud pit, where now it really has no smell at all. We're hoping with a little bit of time and rain, it will clear up even more. Mama! Dolphins! Dolphins, you're so cute. Those are catfish, baby. 